Alright, hey, everybody. Sorry in here. Uh, there's Gonzac. Uh, uh -huh. And, yeah. I'm not doing a reaction video this time. Surprise. <laughs> now, we're reacting to news. Actually, we have ascended. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what's kind of cool is that apparently somebody was able to get some information about the DLC that's coming for Three Houses. So I'm like, oh, hey, you know what? Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This was uh, found at Serenus Forest. And, yeah, apparently, let's see, who was the person? It's said around here. Uh, Ayn? Ayn? Is it Ayn? Well, I, uh, if it's Ayn, then that's fine, Ayn, and if it's not, then my bad. But yeah, Ayn, a Japanese fan of Fire Emblem, this, uh, somehow found, like, apparently, uh, Fumitsu showed a guidebook for the upcoming DLC, Wave 3 and mm -hmm. 4. And mm -hmm. they just, like, uh, translated it and posted it on Serenus Horus, so that was really nice of them. Yeah, it has a lot of information about, yeah. like, what's about to come. Yeah. So on the DLC, I'm not entirely sure, and I don't think I would have guessed, but, yeah, so let's check it out. Mm -hmm. So the first wave is pretty much wave three, oh. and as the warning here states, minor, very minor spoilers, so... Yeah, if you mm -hmm. haven't beaten Three Houses yet, why are you watching this video? <laughs> But yeah, so here's Wave 3. So apparently, according to the news, we're going to get a free DLC with Wave 3. And the first news is we're going to get a new playable unit, Jiritsa, on certain routes only. You know, it actually makes a lot of sense. Like, I was surprised that we didn't actually get him normally that, in the game. I'm actually kind of... I like that Jiritsa is getting a little more... Uh, a little more, uh, what's the word, screen time <laughs> than he did. Uh -huh. Because I'm pretty sure all of us who beat the game know that Jiritsa is the, the Death Knight, pretty much. He's, he's Mercedes' brother. Yeah. I forgot what his actual name was, though. I think it was, like, Jacqueline, Maquil, something like that. But, yeah, so Jiritsa is pro looks like Jiritsa is going to be playable. And it's going to be for free. So you don't actually have to buy the DLC. It's just a free DLC that everyone's going to get, apparently. Yep. And it's going to be with new support conversations with Jiritsa. I'm not surprised. And apparently we're going to get new activities and new online features. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually kind of like, interested. Like, what do you think Jiritsa is going to be? You think he's going to be like a paladin-based unit? I think, like, they're going to give him the... He has to keep the Death Knight, right? Probably. Right? Like, I have no it's idea. Probably a unique job for him? Maybe. <laughs> What I'm interested in is, like, is it only going to be on the Black Eagles route? Like, because I, I could see an argument for him being in the Blue Lions route, you know? Yeah, but it's probably going to just be for the Black Eagles, yeah. Because I would love to see an interaction between him and Blade, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't at me! No? Okay, sorry. <laughs> that would be funny, but probably, they probably won't do... They probably won't support because of that, so mm. who knows? Uh, new activities. I wonder what the new activities are going to be. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Like, since we got sports, where is it going to be jogging? Are we actually going to get <laughs> sports events? <laughs> Maybe it's a mini game where you have to run, like, a certain path in the castle. <laughs> you have to run faster than other characters, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, uh, and new online features. Uh, I don't know what that's going to be like. Maybe it's going to be we can actually, like, Trade items instead of selling? No, that's already selling. I don't know. Maybe we can send anchor jar units to other people. I'm pretty you know, sure. Like the other game. I'm pretty sure we can already do that. Act. That's already. Yeah, a but feature, like, yeah. how do you use that feature? So maybe they can reempt it. Maybe. I don't know, but yeah, that's all. Honestly, for free DLC, that's actually pretty nice. You get a whole new playable character with support conversation, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the paid DLC, uh. Looks like, uh, I know Guns is going to be happy for this one. New playable unit, Anna. <laughs> you know, with this, they have more new Annas in this game than in freaking Three Houses after, like, three... Well, Heroes after, like, three years. <laughs> I'm sick of that shit. It's not going to happen. Get over it, Guns. <laughs> yeah, fuck that thing. May, yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe they might surprise us. Maybe the next wave of, um... Seasonal units is just going to be Anna from all the games. <laughs> that would be the best, but no. Yeah, I know. I don't expect I don't expect uh, heroes to give me what I want anymore. <laughs> but yeah, uh, playable unit Anna. Uh -huh. That's going to be kind of funny. Uh, mm -hmm. 
I can pro I could kind of guess that she's, she's pretty much going to be a thief or an assassin like she's always been, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be kind of funny. Um, new monastery facilities. Huh. I, I think, like, they explain it in the later part, like, if you get going on. Well, yeah, because in this bullet point here, there's one of the new activities is apparently going to mm -hmm. be a sauna. Uh... So, ba bathing's back from Fates. <laughs> Fates, so why you did this to me? Uh, maybe, maybe it'll be more tasteful than what they did in Fates, maybe. <laughs> but maybe, because, you know, uh, they could have, like, Modest swimsuits or something? No. Oh, so hey, check it out. Playing with dogs and cats. <laughs> that should have been a feature since the beginning. <laughs> this is a Why are you paying this to play a, with dogs and yeah, cats? This is a paid feature. What the fuck? This should be a free DLC. Yeah, that should have been the free DLC. Oh, man. Jeez. All right. <laughs> well. So what, what, what is that going to do to you? Is, that, is it going to rake your charm or what? I don't I, know. I'm pretty sure it's just for flavor. It's just there if you want to just play with them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but besides that, more new online features. I still don't know what the hell this is about. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some new quests, too. Around ten new mm -hmm. quests. And Anna and Ritz are gonna get a paralogue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell do those two have to do with each other? <laughs> also, after this is the best update ever, there's gonna be maid outfits. Oh, yeah, maid and butler costumes. <laughs> and more, apparently. And, yeah, and more. more. Yeah. Are well, they, are they gonna you be have to add the swimsuits, you know? Well, yeah, I guess, but are they going to be the maid and butler outfits from Fates? Or are they going to assign I mean, new ones? It, it, like, I guess they're neutral enough that it would work in this setting. Yeah. It would be a bit lazy, and, <laughs> but I would still be okay with it, because yeah. it's a decent design. Also, so. there's probably, apparently going to be new maid and butler battalions. Oh, so I can have my full maid and butler team? Okay, I, I guess I, I if guess. I had to buy a DLC, it would be this one. <laughs> Uh, but that's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Wave 3 is going to have quite a bit of stuff. I'm happy that it's getting free, mm -hmm. a free DLC alongside with the paid one, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then Wave 4. So Wave 4 is going to have the side story Abyss mode. What the fuck does that even mean? I have no idea. But it's a side story, so... Meh. And we're going to get new playable characters. Juris, Balbasar... Constance and Javi. Like, I, I, I low key, I don't know if it, this is a mistranslation. Because Jury sounds like Judith. I don't know if that's yeah. the one they're talking about. Could be. Uh, cause yeah, th this is, I'm pretty sure this is directly translated from the Japanese. Mm. Cause these do sound like characters <clears throat> from the game, but it's just, you know, <laughs> different names. Yeah. Exactly. But that's four characters, so that's kind of funny. Uh, I remember seeing somebody post, like, they're wondering if the four characters, maybe if these are also four new characters and they're related to the, uh, Lost Crest Houses, if you know about them. Yeah, like, uh, later in the post, I think they say there's, like, five Lost Crest? Yeah, there's, like, like five. No, nobody, nobody yeah. in the game has them, not even the enemy. Yeah. And it's so because maybe it you, could be there. technically, you can't get them if you're using the Crest items in New Game Plus. Yeah, but, like, it's not... That, that, that's additional stuff. It's not the real crisis. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so we're getting new support conversations, obviously with the new characters. Uh, more new monastery facilities, more new oh, online shit. features. This one's interesting to me. Yeah. Four new classes. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what exactly that's going <clears> to <throat> like actually bring to the table like because i mean all the ma is it going to be for new master classes unique classes i, I i'm very you interested. know we, we seriously we seriously need like uh more armored classes like end game armor classes mm, the only one is yeah. great knight and the community do, has do, decided do, that great knight is not the best yeah no and honestly it really isn't you know what i would actually really love to see what an armored mage class Mm, I would love that too. I yeah. would love to see that kind of class. Yeah, that would be actually, really cool. Th there are some people that have that affinity. I think uh, uh, that girl from uh, Blue Lions. You know the rally girl? Uh, Annette? Yeah, I, like she has like uh, armor affinity, right? Which no, is weird she, because... no, she actually sucks with armor. Ah, she does? Ah, yeah. that's weird. <laughs> I thought she actually like 
No, it, no, it's because uh, I, I think the thing was her voice actress did something random with, with, ah, with her when her class changing to armor. It's kind, of, it was kind of funny. Like she made a Gundam reference. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for so honestly, like if that's one of the new classes, worth it for me. <laughs> Just for that Plus, class, it, it would give it a chance to like uh, have a you know. Oh, uh, just a, not a horde unit, but like a normal unit that's a mage that can also be used by male units. Yeah. Yeah, that would because, be really yeah. cool. I can finally make my Sylvain into the armored knight I always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would work really well. Yeah. Yep. Or Lawrence, either one of those two. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, so we're also getting new enemy monsters. Uh, I'm not liking that. <laughs> And it, 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 it's going to have to do with the side story. Like, it's it's most story. likely going to probably be for the side story, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just wondering, like, um, but, like, what new, what new monsters could they bring? Because we already pretty much have every monster for every category. We got, like, Cavalier Monster, Infantry, Armored, Flying. What, what else could they bring? I mean... They brought Mecha, so at this point I can believe everything. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we also have even generic dragons to fight. It's kind of it's like, yeah, what else can exactly. we play? Jeez. Uh, exactly. New hero relics. The fuck. <laughs> I guess it's for the new people. Yeah, you know? it's so they can have their. So you can have all the relics. Yeah, that, but that's the thing. It's like um. So that means it's gonna. They have to do with the four lost relics because what else could yeah. they? Because kill like that mean. Yeah, because like. It's, it should be only one relic per uh, yeah per crest, right? Yep, or one relic per house, pretty much. I yeah. mean, technically, uh, like, um, technically there are two... Shields? Two type No, yeah. not shields. It's like two types of uh, crest weapons. There are crest weapons. Like, say what um, uh, Rhea has, like the Sword of Saros, that's just a crest weapon. And then mm -hmm. the hero relics are the uh, the bone weapons, you know, the dragon. The, the ones. one that can curse you. Yeah. You, like, them. Yeah. So, so basically, the same weapons and the and the, I guess the I was gonna say lord, elite weapons. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Noble, like, noble weapons. Yeah, the noble weapons, because like uh, there are <laughs> a lot of weapons in the game. Like Claude has a sword that he could get technically, because it's yeah, that's tied right. to his house. Uh, there's yeah. also the Spear of Sithol, uh, the Cadacious Staff, that one's a crest weapon. Uh, there's also a shield for Sithol, so uh, they, he has like a, a spear and a shield. Uh, you know, thinking of it like that, wouldn't it be weird that Sodis doesn't have a crest weapon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also what's funny is that uh, Felix technically has a crest weapon too. Hmm. Because like he, he he has a sword he has the hero relic which is his Aegis shield but he also has a sword that he can get in the blue lines left. Uh, that was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, like new hero relics. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. I wonder if anything are gonna be as broken as Mercedes's gem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we also got new paralogs, obviously. New class. like you're gonna get the weapons there. So yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh, new battalions and new gambits. And new costumes. Now this is interesting. New costumes for Bailiff, both female, mm. female, and Sothis. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Like they call it a side story, but what does that mean? I have no idea. I mean, if anything, if, I'm really. Why are not gonna have a different costume? Then it's not a story in the past, you know. Yeah. Like I, I feel like that costume is gonna be related to the side story. Yeah. And then like, I don't. I feel like, for some reason, I feel like Sothis is going to be playable in the side story. I mean, they have the the things in, in the system to make yeah, it work. Yeah, yeah, so Sothis' character yeah. is in the game. Like, her, yeah. her, 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 like, they actually do have a model and everything, and she even has crit cults and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, it's kind of weird how they have that. And, uh, I mean, they've done it before. Like, there was a character in, uh, Echoes, I think? It was either mm -hmm. Echoes or Face that has, like, crit cults and stuff, but they weren't actually in playable in the game. Yeah, so that that's kind of funny, but yeah, that's uh, that's wave five. So, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm 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 when they when I heard that wave uh, four was getting new story DLC, I wasn't expecting a side story. I was expecting a full on new story, but eh, oh well, I guess yeah. you, I guess you can't get everything. <laughs> yeah, well, like like 
But it, it, it's still a good thing because, like, at least with the latest Fire Emblem games, the side stories are really good. Like, with oh, the yeah. Awakening one and the Fates one. Like, the Fates, the Fates side story, for me, is, like, the best part of it. Uh, I, got but mixed, uh, I got mixed. I liked Awakenings a lot more. Like, uh... Yeah, uh, the Awakening is, like, just a bookender, you know? Yeah, I liked... Because, like, uh... Future Pass, that DLC... Uh, for Awakening, I fucking love the story of that one. That one was yeah. really good. Fates, mm -hmm. I'm just like, eh. uh, okay. Hey, <laughs> we, we get a uh, male sort of finger. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't. And like, uh, I mean, Echoes is DLC has always been like kind of a controversial thing, but I mean, like the yeah. the, the side the side story with when the. Uh, Resistance first established. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a lot of fin fights and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I guess I was just hoping for like one big final story that like uh, has all three three lords join in and everything. I guess that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> maybe they're just traumatized from like the reception they got from the revelations. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> they don't want to do like a. Uh... The gratifying route anymore, I well, guess. I mean, because the thing is, like, we didn't. It's not that we didn't like Revelations for trying to bring the two stories together. We didn't like Revelations because exactly. Revelations was fucking terrible. <laughs> it's just gimmick after gimmick after gimmick. Yeah, the maps were just gimmicks. Like, every map was just a gimmick map, and the story yeah. wasn't even written that good, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we didn't like Revelations. I like the idea of having both campaigns join together. But, yeah, no, Revelations didn't do it good. <laughs> yeah, like, be because how three houses work, like, you, like, uh, it's, a, it, it's not a matter that, oh, uh, here's the big bad, a bad enemy. Like, the yeah. only enemy that's really an enemy is those who slither in the bark, and yeah. depending on the route you take, they can just buy off screen and it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, uh, if I, I I'm, I, I'm pretty, I, Pretty sure I said this before, but if I had anything to compl complain about Three Houses, is that those in the Slither and the Dark are just bad villains. <laughs> yeah, like we could have done without them. You know? <laughs> we kind of could have, yeah. Like if the story was just say Eldegard trying to take over the world. Yeah, and maybe like they could just be people in the Empire that make what happens to all of that, and she yeah. just has to deal with it. You but, know? Uh, the thing, because like. Uh, no, nah, I, I got this. This that, this has to be a different discussion. But like, yeah. pretty much what I want to say is, they could have done better. Like, mm. Crania, good lord, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah. I hate that she's the one that killed Gerald, and I hate that you only got a chance to like, really just beat her up in one chapter, and that's it. <laughs> like, she she had all the things to be a, like a recurring villain. She could have easily. Like, it could have easily. You could have easily spanned that for like a good chunk of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, ha uh, like have her like escape, and then like have Bailiff like learn is like oh no revenge isn't everything, but goddamn does it feel good to have revenge at least for a second? <laughs> yeah, like it could have been something like that. Like it also really could could have tied in with Dimitri, and the Blue Lines path a lot better. But yeah, whatever. Uh. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of wondering if this DLC is going to come out a little sooner than was planned, though. Because yeah. Manning Mower, I think, was scheduled to be released, like, two months from now? But then but we just suddenly got really it. Good. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe we'll get all this... Maybe we'll get Wave 3, like, in a month's time. Or That would be interesting. Yeah. And Wave 4 will, like, maybe Wave 4 will come out in, say, December instead of, like, um, I think it was scheduled for April 2020. Yeah, it's next year. Which was pretty far away. <laughs> yeah, like, people have short time spans, like, they probably forget that this game exists. Yeah. So maybe they're rushing it because, yeah, because... You know, this, this game sold well, and people are talking very good about it. Oh, so man, no, they, they this game, like, the, recept that. the reception at Three Houses has been getting is freaking insane. Like, people are already, like, so many people are already calling this their favorite Fire Emblem. Like, both new yeah. and, ca like, both new and old fans. Mm -hmm. And, like, it, like just, the like, every review of this game that I've seen has just been, like, great. There, there hasn't been, like, an average review. It's always been good game. 
definitely a, a Switch seller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, it's really nice that, like, if we do get them earlier than expected, it would be. Yeah, and maybe if we get, maybe if the DLC does well enough, maybe we might even get a surprise Wave 5. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, that'll be cool. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying swimsuits, so... Who knows, maybe Wolf 5 will have swimsuits? And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> not that I'm asking yeah. for swimsuits, mind you, I'm just saying. <laughs> You're totally asking for swimsuits. No, I'm not asking for Man, fuck those maps it, and fates, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe instead of swimsuits, it's just playing in Fisherman outfit. You know what, I'd pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> and like, she'd actually get a... she actually get a unique weapon, which is just a fish. <laughs> it's a fish! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a fish. That's a uh, new Raise, uh, raises, weapon. <laughs> raises healing magic range by two. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So I guess so. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for Yuritsa as a playable unit, and as a playable. I'm pretty much excited for all the new playable units. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what Abyss mode is going to be about, and the new classes and relic and hero relics. I don't know how much I'm going to play with the sauna, but I'm definitely going to be playing with the dogs and cats. <laughs> yeah. Cause I and actually... I'm going to dress everybody as a maid in the book. You... Why? Because fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Do, you, do you just miss that class, Gunzek? Do, do you miss yeah. the maid butler class from Fates? <laughs> Wasn't it funny that the Empire just dies because a bunch of maid and butlers decided to like, unite together? <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> like, a, a freaking uh, Nemesis dies to maid butler. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, even, even the even the cutscene will change to have Byleth as a mate in a mate outfit. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> he just looks. What have I done? What did I make this choice? <laughs> Where did my Why did my life lead to this? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but actually, hold on. Before we head out, I want to check something. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Because I want to check the three houses. Uh, I want to see character names real quick. Because, I like, those names sound familiar to me, you know? Let's see. Okay. Uh, is this going to show... Oh, it's not going to show Japanese names, is it? Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. Naturally glad get older. Thanks, Serenus Forest. I'm I'm glad that the characters naturally get older as time progresses. Yeah. Okay. Uh no, wait. Jaritza's name full name is Jaritza Vi von Krim. <laughs> I guess? Oh. Huh. Like wasn't he adopted and stuff, I guess? Uh yeah. That family's weird. <laughs> I still don't understand the whole relationship that that family has with one another. Uh, no. Alright. So, I, I was kind of wondering if they had the, uh, Japanese names up, so. Oh. Alright, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the DLC waves, so. Um, let us know what you guys are looking forward to, if you guys really want to. If you paid for the DLC, I want to know about. I kind of want to know about that. Are you gonna? Or are you like Gonzag, who doesn't pay for shit? <laughs> I mean, the first two DLCs are not like not nothing is mandatory in this game. But like, you want to enjoy your time. The first two are not necessary. No, they're not. They're not. But these two, other two, like, they do bring a lot more stuff. Like, oh yeah, know? definitely. They're gonna bring. they looks like these two are bringing a lot more stuff. Uh, honestly, the only useful thing that I've seen from Wave 2 DLC is just the additional Paralog quest. Or, like, the additional, mm -hmm. sorry, the additional, uh, uh, battle that they got. Because mm -hmm. the rewards you get from that one is freaking insane. <laughs> yeah. But besides that, yeah, no. <laughs> Not much else is useful. Uh, except for the, uh, items that you got for DLC Wave 2. Woo! <laughs> Actual yeah. boots and then plus three to HP, strength, and defense. Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> but yeah, all right. But, <laughs> so yeah, so let us know what you guys think. Uh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that this stuff comes out earlier than it 
than it actually was noticed, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.